Mary, could you speak to how someone should go about selecting mentors for their program? Yeah, this is another topic that could go on for days. But I think the first thing to consider, and this is kind of a common theme of what Jody and I will talk about, is taking a step back uh, and not just getting tunnel vision, whether it's recruiting or whatever it is, to say, okay, let's go back to ground ourselves in the goals of this program. What is this program trying to accomplish and who are the right people to be mentoring? Because sometimes you're going to have very wildly different uh, individuals. We ran a reverse and diverse mentoring program. And in that program, we had junior employees of diverse backgrounds me uh, mentoring executives. And so that was a very different mentoring pool than our open program, for example, where the goal there was skill sharing. And so we believed that anybody could share skills that from an executive to an intern, people have all different kinds of skills to learn. And we wanted to make that as accessible as possible. Um, so in a program like that, we wanted to make sure there were as few barriers to entry as possible. So we just had it, you know, as long as you were a full-time or part-time employee and you were, you didn't have any performance outstanding issues, then you could sign up to mentor and share what skills you had. And if somebody wanted to work with you on that, then great, let's, let's go get started. But for other programs like our reverse and diverse mentoring program, that we leverage partnerships with our inclusion diversity team, with our employee resource groups to make sure that we were not only vetting properly, but that we were also recruiting intentionally, that we weren't overlooking people that, you know, might not have been identified as high potential just because of structural barriers. Um, and so with that, I would say before you go about just, you know, setting criteria and saying, well, this is what I think an ideal mentor looks like take a look at what your goals are, and then partner with the people that make sense, depending on the objectives you're trying to accomplish, and get their input. And so whether it's through, um, we did a combination of self-nominations and nominations from our DEI team and from our employee resource groups, um, we had them submit applications, both on the mentor and mentee side, to really understand what they were trying to get out of the program and if it was a good fit. And then we had like a rubric of selection criteria to identify who would be um, who would be able to add the most value in this program for one another.